captain, and they could be still offering so much. It's beyond me why the Bella Twins didn't re-sign uh, with the company. There's something going on with children. There's something going on with movie deals and entertainment contracts being offered uh, to the Bella Twins outside of the WWE, from what I can gather in the way of info. Uh, there isn't much info on the futures of the Bella Twins that has become available from professional wrestling news websites or entertainment blogs found throughout the Internet online, but a lot of people have been creating conversation on the future of the Bella Twins. I was always a big fan uh, of the Bella Twins. When it came to two divas who could really get the job done uh, in the divas division, there was no arguing or no disputing the fact the Bella Twins were two of the best divas you could have had represent uh, the new talent. I think a really big fan of the Bella Twins wasn't so much of a fan of the Bella Twins when they first kicked off their careers on SmackDown and they were fooling people with twin magic, which was later termed uh, by the WWE Universe and the WWE community. Everybody uh, was being fooled by the Bella Twins, wasn't really a big fan of Nikki and Brie because they didn't have much info on the Bella Twins, but once they became familiarized with the WWE Universe, I quickly became a fan of the Bella Twins and I've been pretty much driving the Bella Twin fan wagon uh, over the past at least year and a half, ever since the Bella Twins returned from the first firing they suffered from and were very vocal about their firing on professional wrestling news websites and forums on the internet. They were going by their shoot names uh, when they were telling us how they really felt about their first firings, and they're going by their shoot names actually apparently on Total Divas for most of the time, uh, but it's amazing, you know, when the Bella Twins are given that opportunity to be very vocal about how they feel about how they were previously traded in WWE, and it just goes to show how far uh, being very opinionated about how something going on in your personal life and your professional life can get you. The Bella Twins did make a couple of appearances on television after their first firing, and they were just as quickly back in WWE as they were fired, uh, with no explanation as to why they were fired. The only explanation we got were from the mind and the mouths of the Bella Twins. Nobody really offered an explanation as to why the Bella Twins had previously been fired. Uh, but that's really what this whole issue puts me in mind of. Now, this could be just a rumor because of everything that we found out about and that was revealed uh, from the Season 3 finale of Total Divas on the E! Network a couple of Sundays back because a lot of people love to create rumors, especially when it comes to the Divas Division. A lot of people like to talk uh, controversy and a lot of people like to stir things up uh, in the professional wrestling business. And I think this could be a little bit of both. Uh, it could be a little bit of legitimacy coming from the WWE, you know, kind of teasing us, leading us up to the release of the Bella Twins and then parting ways with the company, but it also could be some way of a critic uh, trying to stir up controversy in the WWE Divas Division because they know how popular the Bella Twins are, and there are a lot of haters out there of the Bella Twins, but as I've always said, uh, your haters are some of your biggest fans, and that's something that you have to go ahead and say and admit. Uh, haters would not hate you if they were not fans of you. They have to know about you to some extent, and some of your haters are some of your biggest fans. That's something I've always believed. So along with the supporters we have out there, the Bella Twins and their relationships with Daniel Bryan and John Cena and everything that we've seen from Total Divas uh, being exposed with that, how supportive fans were of their decisions they made in their careers, all the disputes that they had on and off camera with how they legitimately hated uh, one another from time to time, and just with how you know the WWE Universe you know tend to hate them because of their heel characters on WWE television, love them or hate them, you have to give the Bella Twins uh, the benefit of the doubt because you have to wonder, you know, where would the Divas division be uh, without the Bella Twins? Where would it be without Nikki and Brie Bella? Really big fan of the Bella Twins. When I'm always asked about the Bella Twins, when they ask the questions, when interviewers ask the question or fans of my show ask me the question of who are you a fan of when it comes to the Divas division, is it uh, AJ, is it Paige, is it Summer Rae, is it Charlotte, is it Sasha Banks, the NXT Women's Champion? I don't choose any of them. I respect everything they've done in the wrestling business. I just go with someone like a Nikki or a Brie Bella because of the experience uh, they have been offering to the deep division. I don't go against uh, anything the Bella Twins have done. Do I condone everything? Do I support everything the Bella Twins do throughout their careers? No, I don't support everything they do because I disagree with a lot of things uh, the Bella Twins have chosen to do more times than enough. I have disagreed than I have agreed with some of the decisions the Bella Twins have made. They have definitely made a lot of career-altering decisions. This is going to be one of their biggest ones. Um, you know, I have always just loved the Bella Twins, the way they go about things, uh, the way they conduct themselves, although sometimes I disagree with it. I do love the Bella Twins, and I, that's why I make so many video blogs on the Bella Twins, and I throw them up in the archives of our YouTube channel at Jonathan Clark 22 because how can you not uh, support the Bella Twins, and how can you not support the Bella Twins when you know uh, that it's eventually coming to an end uh, for the Bella Twins over the next couple of months? By SummerSlam, apparently, is when they're going to be leaving. It could be earlier than that. It could be as early as the night after. Uh, WrestleMania 31, which is tonight. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me at all, but the rumors are any time between now and SummerSlam uh, is when the Bella Twins will make their final appearance on their contract 
Oh, at WWE, and they will go elsewhere. We know that one of the Bella Twins apparently is getting ready to have a child. Another Bella Twin has been offered a lot of offers outside of the wrestling business. And hey, if you've been offered offers outside of the wrestling business, who could blame you for wanting to achieve more? You know, people criticize The Rock for years. Uh, but the thing about The Rock is The Rock wanted to achieve more, and he went out and he done that. You know, he made so many movies. He's worth over a billion dollars in the box office. He's got Fast and Furious 7 on the way out now theatrically. That's going to be a big one uh, for the original cast of the original Fast and Furiouses, at least five through seven. It's going to be amazing uh, seeing Dwayne Johnson a part of that and some of the upcoming projects Dwayne Johnson has. He's one of the biggest celebrities in the world, worth over a billion dollars when it comes to earnings on the celebrity earnings list. And he's going to be even higher on that list by the end of 2015. I mean, so much has been achieved by The Rock. Uh, but the one thing about the Bella Twins are the Bella Twins have really done the Divas Division a great deal of beneficial things. Recently in a promo on SmackDown leading up uh, to WrestleMania 31, the Divas Division has never looked hotter, uh, in my opinion. And I say that because the Bella Twins really put over uh, the match with AJ and Paige at WrestleMania. They looked the, made the Divas Division look phenomenal uh, when they referred to AJ Lee as the Brock Lesnar of the Divas Division showing up whenever in the hell she wanted to. She was basically handed everything, including the Divas Championship a number of times, a total of three. She promised she'll be a four-time champion by the conclusion of 2015. I took exception. You know, it's not very often I take exception to some of the things the Bella Twins have said in their careers in the way of promos towards other Divas they may have been feuding with, but I took exception to how they referred to AJ as a Brock Lesnar because how is AJ Lee a Brock Lesnar because she held the championship for 295 days, nearly 300 days, nearly a full year. How is taking some time off after being champion for nearly a year putting you in the same category as a Brock Lesnar? That's just the Bella Twins way, I think, of just shooting on people like AJ and Page because they don't agree with AJ and Page being reality stars and being able to call themselves wrestlers at the same time. The Bella Twins are basically being referred to, this is coming from a group of girls who are being referred to as the professional wrestling business's version of the Kardashians because they have been the focal point of the Total Divas reality show, which is why I say that if you're going to have Total Divas season four and five, you have to have other divas at the forefront of the show, especially if the Bella Twins are going to be departing with the company. You have to have other divas in the same position the Bella Twins have been through seasons one through three of Total Divas on the E! Network. Now, keeping up with the Kardashians may be the E! Network's moneymaker because it's the most talked about reality show on TV right now. And of all the reality shows we have, even Donnie and Jenny with one of the Backstreet Boys having his own reality show, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, it's amazing, you know, how much conversation the Total Divas show has gotten. But I think we need to change up the stars of Total Divas from the Bella Twins to possibly one or two other divas. Natalia. Uh, seems to be up there. Paige and AJ are seemingly getting ready to take over as reality stars. Even though I think we should change up the stars of Total Divas, I think that this is really taking a lot of emphasis off of what AJ and Paige are offering to the Divas division as wrestlers. And I really hate uh, how they're mixing up the Total Divas reality show with the competition in the Divas division. I really hate how they're trying to combine the two. I appreciate it so much. But I more so hate it because it's taking away emphasis from the WWE Divas division, which seems to be with the TNA and Occam's division now, uh, which is a far more superior division in the way of wrestling uh, that's being offered to wrestling fans than what the Divas division is offering now because it seems to be a little bit too much about reality TV uh, for the Divas division, which there really is no need of. I respect the fact of wanting to put over... Uh, the reality show Total Divas, but keep it separate in separate feuds from what's happening with the WWE Divas Championship and the contender or contenders that are flying for position to take over as the Divas Champion. In my opinion, the Divas Champion should not be a reality star. It should be someone representing competition within the division, and by having Nikki Bella both being a reality star and a champion, that's taking away uh, emphasis on the Divas Division, and I really hate that, and it really frustrates me. That's one of my pet peeves, so to say of what's going on with the Divas Division and something I've offered a fair share of criticism towards because I don't agree with combining reality TV with wrestling when it comes to the WWE and how they're trying to convince us that the Bella Twins are the WWE's version of the Kardashian sisters, Kim and Chloe. I hate that, and I hate that comparison. I can't tell you how much I hate that comparison. That's one of the things that I think life sucks because of is how WWE are trying to convince us now that people like Nikki and Brie Bella are the next Kardashian sisters, and if not that, they're trying to convince us that AJ and Paige, who are pure wrestlers, 
in the deepest division and have been for the better part of the last three to four years, especially AJ from at least 2010 to 2015. They're trying to convince us now that AJ is a reality star. I'm not saying that AJ can't do it all because she more than likely can. Uh, she's one of the most giftedly talented athletes in the WWE Divas division, and she could be just as gifted of an actor or an actress. But I just think that AJ needs to be just wrestling in the Divas division and keep the emphasis on her character in WWE for being one of those unpredictable characters. Because you got to remember, that's how AJ established herself, for being an unpredictable character who could get the job done in the squared circle against any challenger she had especially when she was a Divas Champion. and all those evolutionary processes, her character went under. She went from being someone who was just not taken seriously.